ladies and gentlemen, one of the key issues to the development in agriculture is innovation and research. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is very important that this Seed Protection Act is diligently followed and implemented. And on a regular basis, we should engage all the stakeholders in this business, discuss and review what has happened in the past and make strategy of what is going to be, go for the future. We have all the resource base in the agricultural sector to take Nigeria to greater heights. In all aspects, agriculture is no joke. It provides 70% of our employment whether you like it or not. And people, you have to understand, sometimes if you follow the news, the talks, you think Nigeria will go into Tatas the following day. But what is holding Nigeria is agriculture and these small scale farmers that you despise. Excited to welcome you all to this very, very important occasion of unveiling the Plant Variety Protection Act 2021. It is an important milestone, not just for the NLC and our partners, but also for the national agricultural sector. <clears throat> Nigerian agricultural sector transformation is a great significant reason why the country pay a lot of attention to having the PVP law. This will even incentivize national and international agribusiness investment in Nigeria. We we'll soon begin to see on our farmers' fields, superior yields, state tolerance, disease resistance, climate smart, input efficient varieties that will be introduced by our innovative breeders, both from public and private sector, in a few years to come. Good morning. Uh, the DJ Nask, permit me to stand on established protocol. Uh, to say it is to give me great pleasure and honor to welcome you all to the unveiling of the Plant Variety Protection Act 2021. We must act with a sense of urgency to strengthen partnership for resilient seed regulation through catalytic investment into the seed sector, tackle high level insecurity for sustainable and inclusive seed system and agricultural transformation in Nigeria. Honorable Minister and honorable colleague, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the importance of this development of crop varieties cannot be overemphasized. Nigerian agriculture is still threatened by a lot of challenges, such as, as poor yields, declining soil fertility, and soil degre degradation, emerging and traditional pests and diseases, poor quality output, high post harvest losses, extreme weather conditions occasioned by climate change, high temperatures, drought, flood, etc. Building of the Plant Variety Protection Act today is a milestone and should be the beginning of aggressive development of home growth home crop varieties suitable for Nigerian ecology. Our smallholder farmers in rural communities are still inadequately covered by improved crop varieties. Farmers will, glow, will grow century old traditional varieties inherited from their forefathers. This is not acceptable in the 21st century the seed system to be thoroughly overhauled. A lot of studies and research have been done in the past aim at improving our seed system. We should, we should dust the reports and implement them. It is on record that the plant variety bill was passed by the House of Representatives. There is no doubt that the slow pace at improving fertility or performance of our plant has been as a root of the overall for agricultural transformation through the breed and width of the country. 
the PBC Act will undoubtedly be beneficial to plant breeders, small farmers holders, and every stakeholders in Nigerian agricultural system. I would like to congratulate Nigeria on the unveiling of the Plant Variety Protection Act 2021. And uh, we are optimistic that this will greatly enhance agriculture productivity in Nigeria. As you all uh, may be aware, India and Nigeria are very strong uh, partners uh, in the agriculture sector. There is a memorandum of understanding under discussions going on, whereby we'll be able to share our uh, expertise and uh, offer facilities for training uh, for Nigerian scientists in Indian institutes of repute. Number one message there is that all of us, some of us at the private level can set up early generation seed production because then the breeders must come out with demand-driven seed varieties of IED, disease or resistant, drought tolerance, and also resilience to the environment. And what we protect the breeders to be able to do is, is the document we have now. Good morning, everyone. I'm Ben Rivois from the UPA office here in Geneva. But indeed, implementation of the PVP system is key together with the UPOV membership. And the implementation of the law and an effective system is key, as mentioned by the representative of the plant breeders, to have an effective system that will allow breeders to develop more new varieties and at the end for farmers to get access to those new plant varieties that comes together with high quality plant materials and seeds. And if the inputs are good, the output will definitely be good. And of course, if the output is good, the bankers will be ready to finance because the output will be able to generate the cash flow that will pay the loan. And if we have you coming up, especially the seed breeders, coming up with good seed, improved varieties, it will show that yes, we are growing. So if you look at most of the seeds we have now, you discover that the yields are not much, but if we are having this kind of seed, it will tell that yes, farmers can actually go in and we too will be comfortable financing the farmers. And that's why Agra has significantly supported the Plant Variety Protection Act. Agra has been part of the National Seed Council Act policy, I mean the Seed Act that was enacted in 2019 and to move the process forward as a complement to the act, AGRA has gone ahead to support NASC in the enactment of the PVP law so that we can have a seed space that is progressive, a seed space that will ensure prosperity for Nigeria. Act of signing the PVP law, um, in, PVP bill into law by Mr. President has put Nigeria on the global league of countries that apply science and technology and innovation as a solution to the to the to the challenges that face our agricultural sector. What we have today will revolutionize the practice of plant breeding. Breeders' morale has been stepped up and I believe the farmers and other very important stakeholders will all benefit from this and more importantly our nation will have a very important step up in the economic development of the agricultural sector. Our investors will be willing to come especially that has to do with a new germplasm, where they have invested and they sure that whatever they bring is secure. Security has been a problem over the years. And then with BPV, they are, we, are, we are sure that their security is, uh, is, is, I mean, their investment is secured. <laughs>